trying to defend my name. <laughs> it's a certain someone want my attention real, real bad. Real, real bad. It's a certain someone that want to be his brother real, real bad. He want to be him so bad. So bad. He's so obsessed. And want to be Robert so bad that every day he got to make a video about me. Now, I get the people that's like, oh, y'all put this in y'all business. Y'all shouldn't have posted this. I get that, baby. I totally understand. But in that moment, I wasn't thinking about none of that. In that moment, I'm thinking of this man coming at my daddy and being disrespectful. So let me turn on this camera so that maybe he'll calm down. But he didn't calm down. All right, so now I'm dealing with a lot of lies and defamation against my character. And being so, as these people I'm talking about don't got no money, I can't sue them for defamation of character. But I will, because even your grandkids will start. <laughs> Okay? Your grandkids will pay will pay me. But I'm really sick of the lies. I'm really tired and I'm fed up of this man coming every day to say something about me. To say every day this man get up, Kevin, has to come and make a video about me. You that obsessed? You obsessed with me. You wanna talk about me every day? You wanna talk about me every day? Now baby, let me tell you something. During this whole time, if y'all go look on this man's page, every day has been about me. I'm not even married to this man and he talking about me. I'm not even married to him. He's talking about me. He ain't even lived in my house, and he's talking about me. I ain't never been around this man enough, long enough, to even know shit about him. But because I was married to his brother, I know a lot about him. Like, for instance, him and Dwight Howard doing mushrooms together, and they were supposed to be doing inappropriate things, as in gay things. Mm -hmm. So your brother thought she was on the down low. He was questioning that. As in, you know, you asking Dwight Howard for so much money, but now Dwight don't want to give you no more money. So now that's why you're asking Robert. Now you constantly asking Robert for money, right? Yeah, yeah, you're on his payroll. So when it comes to certain things, it just really has so much to say about me and don't even know me. One of your first videos was, oh, yeah, I used to be on Brianna's side all the time. I wonder why, because I wasn't wrong, right? Because I was in the right, right? One time you counseled us why? Because your brother was flirting with your ex-girlfriend, talking about her makeup look good? Like, come on. Come on, you admit it yourself. Yourself, and I'm sure you're going to try to get this video and dissect it too. I can't wait. Go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do it, because defamation of character is coming. It's coming. I'm done. I'm tired of playing games with y'all. Y'all want to sit here and keep playing with me? I ain't got time Here we got his sister, Toya. Won't you just lie a few weeks ago about your husband abusing you? Won't you just lie saying that? I'm confused. Won't you just lie saying, who my husband here abusing me? I need help. And then he peeped at my phone on the floor. Remember that sis when he said, she said all of that, right? Begging everybody. Oh, I need y'all. I need y'all to help me. Can you cash at me? And every one of her lives right now, she asking people to cash at her. Begging people for money. But yeah, everybody in the comments like, why your brother not helping you? Why your brother not helping you? Why your brother not helping you? He don't never help you. You know why your brother ain't helping you? Because he the same exact man you married to. Abusive. And he don't never help. Abusive. But y'all want to sit on here and try to say this man image instead of getting him help. He need I took a lot of the test. I sure did. Questions are... Are you lying when you said your husband broke your index finger? No. Are you lying when you said your husband has been emotionally abusive? No. Are you lying when you said your husband hit you on the head with a tote? No. Did you break your finger yourself? No. Okay. Polygraph Professionals of North Georgia. It is located in Cumming, Georgia. Proof and facts are still there. Documents are still there. So, let me let y'all see the questions. That was it, so you guys don't think I'm lying. Here's the questions right here. Ooh, my hand's shaking. I'm so pissed right now, sis. I see. I'm so pissed. I see. So as you guys can see, on October 21st, 2022, Miss Hampton voluntarily submitted to a wrongfully accused polygraph examination and read, signed the polygraph consent form. The originals of these documents are retained as part of our file for this report. The polygraph examination was completed using an Air Force MGQT test. The original data tests and documents associated with this exam are maintained in the files of this office. So ain't nothing fraud about it. Y'all see the questions that was asked to me. After careful analysis of the polygraph examination, it is in the opinion of this examiner that... What that say? Can y'all read? Can y'all read? Can y'all read? Indicative of deception. No, no significant response. No significant response. Pass my lie detector test. Pass my lie detector test. So did my husband break my finger? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Proof, facts, all here. Place right here. Google it. Call him up. It's in the office. How many times I call the police? Uh, uh, a million damn times. How many times did social services come to my house? Because y'all keep saying, leave the kids out of it. But my kids is going to school telling them this man. And I'm still protecting him. I'm still saying, this man didn't do nothing to me. I'm still saying that. I'm still saying that to protect him. My daughter went to school in fear for me. And social services came to my house. And I protected him again and again and again. How long do y'all want me to be quiet? How long? How is, it, how is it that his own daughter don't even want to be around him? And we ain't talking about the youngest. We talking about the oldest. How long? How long?
home. Y'all can tell. Don't bring the kids until my kids was banging on that door trying to get to their mama. Several times. This ain't the first time. This is not my the first kids time. done called my sister to come over here. My sister. So when y'all attacking me, trying to bring me the fuck down because I'm standing in my truth, this is why women don't say nothing. And this is why I won't go say nothing. And I got facts to back it up. If you go on YouTube, it's the same video that I tried to post on here, but it was only one more out of our child. I didn't want to tear him down. I want him to reach success. That's been my every fight since how many times I done said, I don't want to be a blame for why his career isn't moving. Even times he said, social media want us apart. Social media don't want us together. Social media don't want us to win. They don't want us to win. So in order for this, for my music career to work, in order for this acting career to work, we have to go our separate ways. And I say, okay, that's fine. I'll do it. 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 I've been saying I would get a divorce. I've been saying that. And he never came with no paperwork. Ever. I'm all right. I'm all right. Y'all go ahead. Go in your room. I'm good. I'm being real quiet. And I tried to bow down respectfully. Can you get all the stuff off the bed? I've been real quiet. I haven't said nothing. So when y'all trying to attack me, like, oh, why didn't you never say nothing? Oh, why didn't he go to jail? You know how many times I call the police? It's the police fault. Why he ain't in jail? I got a whole list of me calling the police on him a bunch of times. Um, Where that box is at? A bunch of times. And so many times I've been fighting back and forth in my head. Like, I shouldn't have said nothing. I shouldn't have said nothing. I shouldn't have did nothing. I should have just... I should have just stayed quiet. And I shouldn't have posted nothing. I said this a thousand times. I just wanted it to be over. I just wanted this shit to die and not say nothing. But I could not come on here and lie to y'all and say that it was a prank. I had to tell my truth. And as much as this man want to tear me down, I love him for six years. Long enough to continue to cover him. I want his brother to leave me alone. I want his sister to leave me alone.